Meeting call to order. The Ronnie Board of Education meeting is called to order. The Board of Education is in compliance with Chapter 231 of Public Law 1975 entitled the Open Public Meetings Act. The time, date, and location of this meeting was appropriately advertised by notifying the retrospect as well as posting notices in the Barrow Hall, Ronnie Post Office, Mary Bold School, Align Bingham School, Grace Downing School, and the Ronnie Public School District website. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call board members. Patricia Dare here. Charles Buckheim. Present. Naomi Davidson. Present. Patricia Smith here. Samantha Spalding. Here. And we have five members present and four absent. We have five. Also present, Superintendent Mark Iannucci, Business Administrator Joanne Augustine, Janet Fiola, our last meeting with the district. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Janet. Thank you. Um, I didn't see Ms. Gallagher come in. She's She's in training for the call. Um, Steve Healy is here, though. He's the principal of um, Walt School and Butch Bruner, Building and Ground Supervisor. We need a motion to approve the minutes for the May 1st, May 2nd, no, excuse me, May 2nd, and May 29th meeting. No, motion made by Chaz. Yes. Seconded by Patty Smith. Any questions? We were all here. You told everybody how the, so Joanna's gonna collect the meeting minutes uh, the executive. executive meeting minutes back for the county. Yeah. Roll call. <coughs> Patricia Nair? Yes. Charles Buckheim? Yes. Naomi Davidson? Yes. Patricia Smith? Yes. Samantha Spalding? Yes. Motion carries. So that will forever be the way that it works. Yes. So you, we will not have them in our packet. We'll get them the, this evening to review them before we vote on them, correct? Yes. And then return them. I need a motion for the financial report. I'd like to make a motion to approve the financial report. Motion made by Naomi. Second. Seconded by Patty. Are there any questions? Roll call. Patricia Dare. Yes. Charles Buckheim. Yes. Naomi Davidson. Yes. Patricia Smith. Yes. Samantha Spaulding. Yes. Special carries. At this time, we are going to talk about the school self-assessment for the anti- Bullying Bill of Rights. This is the old. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm probably. During our work session, um, I did tell the board a little bit about what this is and how it's the first year for all districts right. and about the score and things so you don't have to repeat yourself. Okay. Uh, then I'll make it real quick and I apologize for my dress, but I was cleaning out my office today and um, to, before I start talking about the head. Um, thank you to uh, the Board of Education for so many years of support and this is a district like no other I think in your willingness to support our school staff to do what kids need and it's admirable and I think it's a, a, a number one school district and Board of Education so I just wanted to let you know that I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. My yes. honor. Thank you. We didn't know until this spring that there was going to be an assessment. Pro we didn't know what the assessment process would look like, but the commissioner wants school districts to evaluate how they're doing on meeting the requirements of the law. And they gave us a rubric that we had to follow that has eight different components. They're all listed in your board report. They include things like how we are implementing and designing programs, how we're training our staff, how we are training our students, whether our reports are in compliance, our investigations are in compliance. Clients. Uh, there are eight different elements that they look for. So we met to go over each of those and we as a district and as a school give ourselves points for whether we are not compliant, whether we meet requirements or whether we exceed re requirements. There are 25 different points within those eight elements 
and you can get a total of three points for every element. So the maximum score is a 75. Um, we earned, if I recall, 63, I believe. Uh, meaning that if you just met requirements on every one, you would have a score of 50. So we're between doing what we're supposed to do and exceeding what we're supposed to do. Our strengths, I think, are in the procedural aspect and in our training requirements. And then, um, Mr. I don't know whether you left the um, recommendations as part of that packet or not, but there were things that we decided that we would like to focus on in the future that includes more than anything, continued training for um, students, staff, and for parents. We need a refresher round on policy again. We have a lot of new staff coming on board who will have to be brought up to speed with what our procedures are in the district. Um, and those are the things that we think that we most need to, to polish up. So I don't know if anybody had any specific questions about it, but what will happen is that this score, once the board uh, accepts this report tonight, the report will be submitted to the state. The commissioner then will be posting all of the school's scores in some way on the school report card for each building. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Does the board have any questions? No, I don't think we do. We do call for that in the work session. Thank you for all your work. Thank you. And good luck with your retirement. We show you this year. Yes. Thank you. Seven is correspondence that we also talked about. The Runby Library would like a uh, list of all of our books for summer reading, so they can help um, the children get prepared. So we're going to take care of that tomorrow. Um, at this time, I would like to open the floor for public comments on agenda items only. The public is reminded that they should attempt to resolve problems and or complaints through initial contact with a staff member or members involved therein in the chief school administrator prior to petitioning the Board of Education. Complaints should only be brought to the board after the appropriate school staff has had a reasonable opportunity to resolve the problem at the employee level. Statements should be limited to topics to be addressed on the published agenda and limited to length in three to three minutes. At this time, is there any Public comment on agenda items? No? All right, then we will move to the secretary's report, which is in yellow. Does anybody have any questions on Joanne's report? No? Do you have anything to add? No? Not, not particular. I mean, I can, did you want me to read it out loud? You don't have to read yeah. it out loud unless you want to. No, We're good? <laughs> <laughs> Superintendent's report. I would like you to read Sure. District enrollment uh, as of May 25th is 869 students, including 13 out of district placements. So we are currently at 856 students in the district. Job in that district self assessment that was also in the report. Uh, the teacher and staff recommendations we're making this evening. Uh, this was a team effort uh, with the incoming building principals as well as some staff members, guidance counselors, members of the child study team. Uh, we took over 300 resumes, I think, for all the positions we had open. As you, as the pe new people might not know, this is a very small district, so we're lucky usually if we have like one or two hires. So this is something brand new um, for us. My time here, and even some people have been a little longer you know, tell us the same thing. So, we've, uh, I probably sat in for over about 110 interviews over the past month. So, as I look at some of these faces, I'm hoping I remember their names. I think I do. <laughs> I've met with them at least twice, if not three times. Um, but I want to thank not only Mrs. Yezzy and Mr. Peely for taking some time um, you know, in the late afternoon and evening hours, as well as some staff members we had sitting on those committees. Mrs. Fiola, Mrs. Hines, as well. Um, <coughs> lengthy process, but I think we have some excellent candidates this evening. Uh, I think they're going to be a welcome addition to the running league staff. Uh, they're excited. We're excited for them. Uh, the administrative team has grown now. We're starting our infancy stages together next on Monday. Uh, I think the people we have in front of us are a crop of excellent uh, teachers. Lots in the district. We're excited about that, so we want to welcome this evening. Um, 
had the opportunity to meet with the support staff on Monday, along with Joanne and Butch, to discuss me as a new, myself as a new superintendent, understanding everybody's responsibilities to support staff. Um, the schools would not run if it wasn't for people like Mrs. Watts over there, Ms. Mark, Ms. Wilson, Butch, um, and Peggy, even Tessa Chasta. So for me to get an idea of what they do, like not only on a daily basis, but what you, what, what's your month of July look like? What's, so I'm going to meet with them individually starting next week to kind of get a better idea, uh, idea, of what, idea of what they do. And then this is, Augustine and I will also meet to discuss how we can shift some responsibilities and maximize their talent potential. So there's some things we need to work on in the school district, uh, as Samantha said earlier, to get us into the 21st century. So to speak. So we have a lot of talented people on our support staff. I never want to shortchange them. I uh, start off the, start off the meeting by telling them I appreciate everything they do every single day because sometimes we take for granted what they do each day. So I want to publicly thank you, each of you that are here tonight. Thank you for being here. I'm excited to have them. Um, also put in there about the changes to the secretaries from 10 to 12 months, which we discussed earlier. You saw that one pink sheet that I gave you. We developed the two RTI positions um, this year through some maneuvering of staff. So we'll have um, an RTI person this year. We have one person doing both buildings. Next year we'll have one person in each building. And it'll work through all the K three three staff. Um, help those kids. I know Scoutery saw a lot of success in those kids. They were, you know, those schools. So we're hoping with two people now working Barb has been training them now for a couple couple months now, working moving forward. So we're excited to have that. Staff reassignments, everything's in there. We took into consideration the building principals come in, child study team. We're going to try to match every decision we made was the students in mind and their progress and their interest. So you know, sometimes change people fear it a little bit. Uh, I think change is good. I think moving forward. I don't think people are in. That's expected that they're going to be the fifth grade teacher for the rest of their career around me. I think it's a good thing to shake people. I mean, not, not to shake them up, but to shake things up because it keeps you fresh and keeps you excited. And, uh, we're, we're looking forward to that. And sometimes, a lot of times, when we've changed people the last couple of years, they hate me in the beginning and then they come to me two months later and they say, This is the best thing you ever did to me. So, you know, we're excited about that. Um, also, the one important position, another important position we as the assistant principal here at um, Volt School. We're going to introduce everyone in a second, but uh, I think the gentleman we picked for this position is going to fit right in. He's in a situation as current district where he's had a lot of responsibilities working with staff and students, very well respected. Um, one of the great things is when you hear, when you call for a reference check, Mr. Buck, I'm sure you've done this in the past, when you hear kind of like the air let out of somebody's, you know, tank a little bit. When what do you mean they're applying it out? Or they're upset that they're going to be leaving. So all the recommendations for all the staff, um, your former employers or whoever you asked the references have nothing but glowing things to say about you. So uh, Mr. Winkelspeck's going to be a great addition to the, to the whole staff here, so we're happy to have him as well. So that is my report. So do we need to approve this? Okay, so I'm going to approve not Mark's report, but I'm going to I'm going to need a motion to approve the board self or I mean not the district self assessment uh, for the anti-bullying bill of rights. I'd like to make a motion to approve the anti-bullying bill of rights. Sorry. The self assessment. Self assessment. Motion made by Naomi. Seconded by Patty. Patty. Smith. Roll call. Patricia Adair? Yes. Charles Buckheim? Yes. Naomi Davidson? Yes. Patricia Smith? Yes. Samantha Spalding? Yes. Motion carries. The principal's report, nurse's report, building ground report, and special education reports are attached. Does anybody have any questions on any of those reports at this time? No? Patty? Okay. Patty? Okay. All right. So moving along to PTA report, is there any update on the PTA? We're, um, I don't know if I said at the last meeting, but now that all the staff is here, we're looking to have our barbecue, I believe the last week of August. We're going to come up with dates once the, all the new administration is here. That's going to be a town-wide 
transportation for all the new staff, families, you know, administration, families, board. So we're going to get that out. Um, so we're just starting to work on that. So you're looking for late date. August for that? Yes. The like the, week. the week We before. just have to check yes. with the administration and make sure they can do that. Okay. So we have thought the week of the 20th, but the 27th, 28th seems to be a better time. Okay. And that's for, we were going to do that for my meeting for, for the new staff, for the town, for the parents to come out and yes. the children so to meet the new staff. So we will do a mailing district-wide to all the families. We'll do a flyer, get that all approved. And we'll connect call. that. Mm -hmm. We'll do a Google connect. Stop by. Maybe we'll get stuff. We're going to have burgers and hot dogs and then just have chips or something to drink. But just look, just starting in the beginning of that. So okay. that will be here. Um, anything else for the PTA? We're good? We're good. We have an awesome PTA here, so you have to make sure you all join. Don't hunt you down. If you don't. <laughs> they all get free membership first. Oh, okay. So next year. All right, Camden County Education Services Commission, I don't believe, uh, is here New Jersey School Board Association? Uh, everything's fine until the fall. Until the fall, okay. Black Horse Pike? You're busy we too. We have all of our, we have a lot of administration, whole new restructure there. They're all hired as of today on meeting this afternoon. So we're moving forward to it. So mm -hmm. both schools working together. Mm -hmm. it's going to be great. Thank you. Negotiations, you have yeah. an update? Yes, negotiations is going well. We have a proposal ready. Mm -hmm. We're waiting um, for a few questions um, to fill. So we can schedule one more meeting, and then we can schedule a meeting uh, with the REA. If that's going well. Good. We are hoping to have the next couple of weeks um, to, to hand them a proposal in the next couple of weeks. All right. Anything else anyone needs to add at this time? So we are not doing a July Board of Education uh, meeting. Right, we're just going to go with the uh, that's all this one. I didn't know if you heard me say that earlier. Yes, unless there's a need for a special Unless there's a need for a special meeting, then we will do that, yes. So then we will move along to property and transportation. I need a motion to approve items number one through eight under property and transportation. I'll make a motion to approve numbers one through eight on property and transportation. Motion made by Patty. Seconded. Seconded by Naomi. Roll call. Oh, number one is going to read a little different, correct, Joanne? It's going to say um, to read with R1 when the Runner Media Youth Athletic Association is not using the facility. Sorry. Roll call. Yeah. Charles Buckner? Yes. Naomi Davidson? Yes. Patricia Smith? Yes. Hannah Spall? Yes. On the personnel, we need a motion to approve items number one through 17. I'll make that motion. Motion made by Chaz. <laughs> seconded by Patty. Roll call. Patricia Neer? Yes. Charles Buckheim? Yes. Mandy Davidson? Yes. Patricia Smith? Yes. Samantha Spall? Yes. Motion carries. At this time, I would like. Uh, all our new staff members, please stand up. Officially welcome you to our high school district. Um, excited to have you. At this time, we would like you to please state your name, what school and position you will be uh, working at this coming year. So I will start to my left here. And um, Ms. Greenwood, everybody else back there is Kelly. Hello, I'm Janine Baduccio. I will be at Downing um, teaching second grade. Welcome forward to it. Hi, uh, I'm Elizabeth Armetta. I'm going to be the new school psychologist, and I'm half simple. Uh, I am Lindsay Lanaka. Um, I'm going to be over at Bingham in third grade. I'm Janine Dijon, and I'm going to be special ed eighth grade at Maryland. I'm Leah Michelle. I'm going to be special ed at Holt. Uh, fourth and fifth I'm um, Christine Duffield. I'm going to be at Bowles for social studies. I'm Kate Interashi. I'll be uh, for Bingham. I'm Kevin Michelle. I'll be the second grade education teacher at Bowles. Sean Callian. I'll be the second grade math teacher at Bowles. Taylor. I will be seventh grade language arts at Bowles. Joan Grant. 
Greenwood, 6 through 8 Technology, here at Holtz. Jim Winklespect, uh, Assistant Principal, here at Holtz. I'm Vicki Kelly, and I will be at Bingham in first grade. Welcome. Welcome. into certain reserve accounts at year end and whereas the aforementioned status is authorized procedure under the authority of the Commissioner of Education which permit a Board of Education to transfer unanticipated excess current revenue or unexpended appropriations into reserve accounts during the month of June by Board Resolution and whereas the Runme Board of Education wishes to transfer unanticipated excess current year revenue or unexpended appropriations from the general fund into the following accounts at year end if funds are available capital reserve and maintenance reserve. And whereas the Runway Board of Education has determined that an amount not to exceed $500,000 for capital reserve and maintenance reserve is available for such purpose of transfer. Now therefore be it resolved by the Runway Board of Education that it hereby authorizes the district school business administrator to make the transfer consistent with all the applicable laws and regulations. Roll call. Patricia Derrick, Captain. Yes. Charles Buckheim? Yes. Naomi Davidson? Yes. Patricia Smith? Yes. Yes. Motion Under curriculum, we need a motion to approve items number one through four. Under curriculum, I'd like to make a motion to approve items number one through four. Second. Motion made by Naomi, seconded by Chas. Roll call. Patricia Dare? Yes. Charles Yes. Charles Buckheim? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Charles Smith? Yes. Smith is following. Yes. Motion carries. There is nothing at this time under policy and public relations. At this time, I'm going to open up the floor again to recognize citizens and staff on non-agenda items. The public is reminded that they should attempt to resolve problems and complaints through the initial contact with staff member or members involved therein and chief school administrator prior to petition the Board of Education. A description of this process may be found in Board of Ed Policy, File Code 0167. The public is reminded that all public complaints against a district employee must be made through a specific grievance process. Any individual naming an employee in a complaint before the Board of Education without the employee's permission could be cited for violating the employee's civil and contractual rights. At this time, the Board is open for any public comment. Mrs. Gallagher, who is here. Mm -hmm. uh, Marie Gallagher, principal of Bingham and Downey. For you sure days. are. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to take this opportunity to thank the Board of Education, Mr. Ranucci, my colleague, my three wonderful secretaries who are here, Pat Annette and Pat Wilson, who is my secretary, both all the staff, the parents, everyone was so wonderful. I had a phenomenal 18 years here, and I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Started out in the business office, did three years part-time, and 
you know, just thought I'd volunteer and love it here and Marie pulled me into the school and you'll know now that everybody that leaves here leaves here after tw not till at least 25 years. Once they come here, they love it here. Uh, the parents, the students, uh, the staff, everybody works together and it's so exciting now with this whole new administration. I myself have had seven bosses. They all come and go and leave. <laughs> you know, we, we just hang out. But they have moved on to be superintendents. Every one of them has moved on, not because they wanted to leave here, but to be a superintendent in another school district. So they had a wonderful, wonderful foundation that started here. And some of them as teachers, as Mr. Iannucci. So I, I hope that you'll love it here as much as we all love having a new staff. And I hope you enjoy your time here. And we hate to see Mrs. Fiola go, Ms. Galder, Mrs. Fiola. I started with her in doing uh, grants, writing grants overnight. And there's a person that not only did things for our school, but for our town, got involved with our town. That's what you'll see that you get pulled in and you start doing all kinds of things you don't even realize that you're volunteering for. So it's going to be a great year. And it's, you know, I've been the president of the PTA. I'm moving over from that now. So I'm excited for the PTA with all the new staff and the things that will be happening in our district. So welcome you and goodbye to our colleagues. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck on your summer and enjoy your time off, Mrs. Gallagher, Mrs. Viola. Um, I have a two-point question. Um, number one, I wanted to know how we were doing with the sign and the painting for the parking lot that's been there, not addressed since last November. Um, I wanted to follow up on that. What sign? Um, there were, Chaz had mentioned back in November when there was an accident about painting arrows around the circle going one way and having some signs put in. So I just want to- I think signs were put in. Okay. So the, signs are in. So the painting we weren't, we didn't do? No, it's part of the summer project. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be September and we weren't able to do it. That's Absolutely. all. Um, and then secondly, um, if we're going to be having our board um, goal setting workshop in August, since I wouldn't be a part of the meeting, I wanted to bring to the attention something that we talked about last year, which wasn't that big of a deal. Um, in the sense of it's not it's perfectly good for us to talk about it out loud, but was that um, the map reports went home like they did last year, which is good that we all got them, but there's no explanation for us parents that um, aren't as educated on what they truly mean. And I understand that there is, and if you want to pass it around, um, I brought Christopher's just to show you because I'm not embarrassed by what it is, but. Um, if you don't read the key, you truly don't understand. And not that I even understand, but it would be nice if there was some sort of explanation to say that the teacher felt as though he was on par, or um, just something more user friendly for the everyday parent to look at. Mrs. So that, Barry, I don't mean to cut you off, but um, I got Samuels and called Mr. Iannucci immediately because uh, you know obviously I teach a reading program and so I know what all that means but I even had some questions and it, him being in kindergarten and the first time I seen this report last year I didn't know what you were talking about but now I do so it is we are going to address that okay. and the board will also be addressing that with our goals as well. right. I don't mean to cut you off no it's good I just wanted to make sure I wanted you to see what it is that I was that I'm talking about because if it was something as to say, well, he really didn't make all that much growth, or he's right on par with all of his other peers, that would be fine. But in order so he doesn't lose ground over the course of the summer, maybe keeping him up on his fractions, because it does deviate the differences in where he was, um, where he would progress, and where he just stayed average. So for instance, he needs to work on fractions this summer, which I know because I sat down and scrolled over it. But not everyone scrolls over it. So even if it helped one student, yeah. then, then it was worth the piece of paper we printed it on. We also have a curriculum supervisor this year, which we never had before, so we'll be all over it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Any other public comment? I would just like to publicly thank uh, Mrs. Fiola and Mrs. Gallagher. As exciting as this time is, today's the last couple of days have been a little odd. I never like seeing, especially Mrs. Fiola, she's in the building with me, seeing Mrs. Gallagher come bring things over turning things and putting back. So it's, it's a little sad. I'll miss you know, our conversations that we had. Um, these two have helped me grow in the last five years as administrator, and I would be sitting here today if it wasn't without them. I look forward to Ms. Gallagher. I have a golf date coming up in a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hit for the ladies' tees? Yes. <laughs> um, and then 
Mrs. Fiola and I will continue our debates over, you know, every Philly she doesn't like and every Philly that I like and everything else. Because, uh, but I will miss you both, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and the board will also like to publicly wish you well, as we did a few times, and welcome the new staff. We're very excited. Um, and if nothing else, our next regular, regularly scheduled Board of Education meeting is August 14th. Work session at 6, 7 o'clock board meeting, because that's different than normal. So I just wanted to do that. Again, August, August 14th. Remember, we pushed it up because of some people had conflicts. So I just want to ensure that we have a quorum like this evening. August 14th. August 14th. And um, I will be in contact with anyone if there's a need for a special. Um, and our new staff isn't allowed to leave until we get a picture. Um, I need a motion to adjourn.